Welcome, welcome, welcome to this tutorial series, guys. And in this tutorial series, I'm going to teach you how to create a polynomial multiplier app using 100% pure Python. And if you guys are saying, okay, Mo, chill, relax, take a deep breath, what the heck is a polynomial multiplier app? And uh, what? You're going to build it using 100% Python? How is that even possible? Well, um, before I even like uh, go into all the little details of uh, how we're going to create this uh, app and all that good stuff, let me show you that this app actually works. And uh, let me give you an idea of the benefits that you will get out of these tutorial series. So uh, I have the app right here. And what we're going to build is something that looks exactly like this. So if you guys are saying, okay, Mo, like all I see is just a big X and uh, what it says he, here is a polynomial multiplier, but uh, how can I know and be confident that this program that you showed me right here is actually an app that multiplies polynomials? So uh, I just went online and uh, I just wanted to... Uh, make sure that my program that I've created right here works. So, uh, I mean, we don't want to go through a whole tutorial series uh, without making sure that this program that we're going to build is actually going to work because, I mean, uh, that would be stupid to do. <laughs> All right, sometimes I say weird stuff, but uh, yeah, you can just ignore that. So uh, let me just go ahead and double click that. And as you guys can see, it created or it popped up a terminal window or something that looks like the terminal window and as you guys can see it said enter the number of terms for this polynomial so I'm like what how do I know the number of terms well I'm just gonna use the example that is in this website right here because uh, I mean this is the first video and it's an introduction and I don't want to make it too weird I just want to make sure that this program works so you can see that following these tutorial series guys will allow you to create a program that looks exactly like this. So uh, in, enter the number of terms for the first polynomial there's only one term. Enter the number of terms for the second polynomial there's two terms. And if you guys are saying okay Mo what the heck is a term and what the heck is a polynomial? So basically in simple terms this is a term and bunch of terms create a polynomial. For example, in this polynomial, there is only one term. In the second polynomial, there is this term and this term. So there is two terms. Uh, so uh, where is it? Where is our program? And you are here. Okay. So it said, okay, enter the coefficient here. Okay, what is the coefficient? It's three because as you can see, it's right here. It's three and the power is two so and it actually this okay this is this is we need to talk about this so the program is actually advanced in a way or the program is developed in a way that it gives you an update of what is in the polynomial currently like it says okay the first polynomial so far looks like this so uh it gives you an update which is uh, pretty cool I think at least um, so let's go ahead and enter the coefficient for the second polynomial let's go ahead and type in 3 and 3 and it says okay the second polynomial looks like this and it also gives you an update which is pretty cool and let's go ahead and uh, input the last two numbers 3 and 2 and as you guys can see it gave us the answer so let's compare it to what we have on this website to make sure that this is uh, all correct and I'm not actually making stuff up because uh, I mean sometimes I do make stuff up so you guys need to make sure that I'm not making stuff up it says okay thanks for using the sick program this is definitely me uh, this is the answer so the answer is 9x uh, to the power of 5 9x to the power of 5 plus 9x to the power of 4, 9x to the power of 4. Indeed, this program actually worked successfully. So now that I got you hooked on drugs and uh, I got you uh, excited about 
implementing and creating this app, let me give you an idea about the benefits that you will get out of these tutorial series. So guys, you're not only going to learn how to create this uh, polynomial app, but you're also going to review and uh, basically practice all the previous knowledge that you already know about Python. So basically, because we're going to build this app, that doesn't mean that, oh, we're just going to focus on creating this app and we're not going to learn anything else but creating this app. No. Once you go through these tutorial series, you're going to review all the knowledge that you already know about Python. You're going to learn how to implement classes and instantiate objects, use for loops, take input from the user, use if statements, all that good stuff. And we're actually going to take it a step further and we're going to learn how to test our program and make sure that it always works. I mean, uh, I'm not going to do that for each class we're going to create, but uh, just for one of them. But yeah, it's going to be good. If you guys uh, are ready to move on to the next tutorial, I'm not going to stop you. And uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be awesome. And I can't wait to start implementing this program. See you guys in the next video.